Here's a very important car for Lincoln, the return of its flagship brand, the Continental. This is a 2017 model just introduced at the Detroit Auto Show. And first off, we can be pretty impressed that, the, that Lincoln kept the production car as close as possible to the concept, especially when it comes down to these headlights right here and some of the character lines going across the back. It gives this large luxury sedan, which is the premium you know, car for Lincoln, the, the top of the line, this, these sort of rear drive proportions and shape and body style, even though it is a front drive or all wheel drive car, depending on how you option it. A uh, couple interesting details on the exterior, like these door handles, for example, uh, you know, we're going to show you later when we hop inside, but they keep the, the shape of the door clean. They don't muddy it up with a door handle, basically, so you still can access them up here. Uh, engines, the one first one introduced so far is a 3-liter twin-turbo V6. Ford says, or Lincoln says, sorry, Lincoln says it'll do 400 horsepower, 400 pound-feet of torque. That's estimated so far with 93 octane. We'll see uh, probably some other engines join that lineup as well, or probably a smaller displacement twin turbo V6 and probably a naturally aspirated V6 as well. Although we're sure we won't see any EcoBoost branding on any of them because this is Lincoln now, it's different and special. You know, the way the car looks is very nice, but the interior's also gotta be pretty special as well. So we'll take a look at that next. Here we are inside the brand new Lincoln Continental, the 2017 model. Uh, the interior has to make the right appearances for a luxury car and this one is doing a pretty good job with that, especially with the seat. These seats are pretty cool, <laughs> especially in a luxury car. You're talking about 30-way adjustable standard seats um, that do a great job of feeling comfortable. You can look at the padding on the seat back right there and how it can adjust uh, heating, cooling, and massage in these seats and they feel terrific, uh, judged by how I feel in the driver's seat right now. Uh, nice uh, grains on the dash, nice leather, beautiful layout although some of the chrome and the reflective bits might be a little uh, distracting. Of course, there's no key in the car right now, so we can't show you the digital display or the infotainment system, but we can say that the interior feels very comfortable, is nice to look at, and nice to touch as well. Storage areas and compartments are down below here. Let's see if we can get that open. You can looking at uh, two USB ports and a 12 volt power adapter and decent uh, space right there. Two cup holders and a uh, tray for your keys, your garage remotes, or your uh, phones and what whatnot. In here, inside the uh, armrest, you have more storage space, another power outlet right here, which is very handy. And of course, you have a massive, massive sunroof, which is really nice, a nice thing to have in a luxury car. Let's hop in and take a look at the back seat. And you can see the layout uh, looks pretty good. The materials look pretty good too, although that, that reflective chrome trim around everything might be distracting to some. Storage in the back is also very good with rear vents and another tray down here. Uh, let's see if we can get the camera down. With two more USB outlets and a, a three-prong plug receptacle right there, which is very nice. You have in the uh, center armrest here, this is an armrest, more controls uh, for stereo, for air conditioning, and so on and so forth. We'll flip that up and you can reveal that this is a uh, five-seat car with the middle uh, seat right there. Let's flip that back down. Seat space is very plus. This, this is much longer than the platform uh, that it came from from Ford, and that benefits the interior by giving you lots of legroom. I can stretch my legs out quite a bit, and my head is definitely far away from the roof. The interior back here is just as nice as the front, and the seats feel pretty comfortable too, although I do kind of miss sitting in the driver's seat right now. To find out more about the 2017 Lincoln Continental, be sure to visit edmunds.com.